What's up everyone, it's Hey John, I jabber opportunities non-stop, and today I want to discuss Evergrow coin and how it is breaking away from Bitcoin and how Evergrow coin is marching to its own beat. Da -da 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 -da. It's very interesting to see folks and I like it so far. I wanted to start the video today with Bitcoin because I want to show you guys where it's at right now and what's causing its current roof over its head where it cannot break out of it just in china's evergrande announces its share will be suspended from trading on the hong kong stock exchange on monday without giving a reason ladies and gentlemen the reason why this is important is because evergrande is the largest real estate conglomerate in china and what you have to know about china is that they like to invest into real estate it's over 36% of the economy, the GDP in China. So if the biggest real estate conglomerate fails and pulls down, then guess what, folks? The whole market will fall with it. Now, however, there are some contingency plans in place to cut up and divvy up Evergrande to other smaller local investors. But irregardless, folks, this is a huge impact. Just remember, Lehman Brothers, and the inception of Bitcoin. That is literally the use case and the beginning of why cryptocurrency was formed. However, though, the reason why this is important is because many Chinese people also have Bitcoin because at one point in time, they were mining it and they didn't sell all of it, folks. You also have to remember, folks, cryptocurrency is, guess what? Cryptocurrency. It is quote unquote anonymous. Your wallet address does not mean it's you. It just means it's a wallet address. So there are plenty of ways people work around this. So with all this being said, I believe these Chinese investors are liquidating their Bitcoin positions because they have other real investments such as real estate. And guess what? That's plummeting. And they have to make up the money somewhere. So they are using their Bitcoin positions to liquidate to pay off their other real bills. Of course, that is just one of many scenarios. Okay, folks, here we are looking at the Bitcoin charts from a daily perspective. The current price of the day for Bitcoin is at 46,226 at the low and the highs of 47,673. Currently, Bitcoin is trading at a consolidated bottom and the bottom is at around $46,000. So I suspect we may bounce from here and just trade sideways a little more. And as you can see here, I've been calling for a possible cup and handle formation and of course it's going to take time for bitcoin there have been many januaries in the past where we've seen a bitcoin pump will this year be any different well we have to wait and see but currently the resistance is at 50,722 folks we traded around there december 23rd to literally december 28th but we were able to confirm that the resistance is there i did also mention that we will consolidate and trade in a channel in the near term before we break out so everything is still on track in my opinion unless we break down below 40,828 i am not concerned at all so bitcoin is currently trading in a sideways consolidated pattern that is fine folks we've seen that happen for pretty much most of 2021 but even though that happened in 2021 bitcoin still rose over 60 percent for the year so ladies and gentlemen understand bitcoin is a huge market cap so it does not move up to the moon anymore by itself it takes a lot of money and guess what folks we're gonna have more consolidation before we see breakouts get up to 250 dollars in bitcoin using my block file link down below in the description so we are seeing something interesting folks altcoin season at 49 points we're still increasing folks. And while we see Bitcoin pull back, we're seeing altcoins increase in price. The reason why we are seeing altcoins surpass Bitcoin right now is because of one reason and one reason only. The Bitcoin dominance is decreasing. Last year it was hovering around 40% and now it is currently at 39%. You're thinking, hey John, 1% was a big deal, right? But 1%, and a trillion dollar market cap is huge, folks. And the reason why Bitcoin dominance is decreasing slowly, but I would say surely, is not because Bitcoin is dead. It's because we're seeing the blockchain evolve and we're seeing Bitcoin's use cases from the inception of being a currency now moving into storage of value and seeing itself become the gold of cryptocurrency. Every project evolves and moves around. But the interesting thing here is that 
I believe altcoins are the future and Evergrow coin is the one to watch and here's why. Okay folks, we are on the four hour perspective of Evergrow coin and we can see that we are moving on up to 1187 and I mentioned to you guys that you know what around there is going to be our next resist don'ts. As you can see, we literally went through 865 to 10 points like butter and now we are charging towards 1187 like butter the only question is can we break through it and break out of it now the question is if we do break through and break out of it what's next so let me go ahead and show you guys okay folks so after 11877 breaks out the next resistance will be 1393 and then 1495 from 1187 to 1393 in my opinion that'll be an easy break but however though getting through 1495 in my opinion is going to be the point where we have some real resistance in my opinion and the reason why is because if you go back into the charts here you can see that we literally use that point one two three four five six times in the past where it's been a resistance or a support so in my opinion here at 1495 you're going to see a lot of resistance because people who have been holding bags for quite some time they may want to alleviate their position so that's why i see the charts however though i don't believe 1495 will be a huge resistance case in point is because once we have real utility creator being released and we've seen the estimates of what daily revenue we could see from these 10 major influencers i suspect we will be able to break through 1495 however though the charts are the charts it's a history folks this means that 1495 at that point in time a few months ago was that resistance but now that we have all this new utility coming on live and being released soon this is why i believe 1495 will not be a resistance for evergrow coin however though if we don't get any actual utility being released then yes all things being equal then we have to revert to the past historical resistance i understand that this may be confusing these scenarios but you have to play these what if scenarios with the past being the past and the current and future you have to put all of those things together if you want to get a proper chart analysis that's why i say to you guys charts are the charts they only give you history they don't give you future folks that's why you need the fundamentals and you need the news now i want to get to evergrow coin and why it is marching to its own beat and why it is defying bitcoin i had to cover everything else before i get here so you guys can understand what's going on so we currently know bitcoin is being affected by evergrand that's because lots of investors invested into evergrand and they are now pulling out of their bitcoin positions to cover the real life situations that's one major scenario folks the reason why evergrow coin is able to march to its own beat is because they have tons of utility coming on board they have creator i've said it multiple times because this is gonna be a huge deal they're gonna have their own wallet they're gonna have metaverse they're gonna have play to earn games they're gonna have nft lending they're gonna have an nft marketplace ladies and gentlemen evergrow coin is literally covering all of its bases it is taking the best from all cryptocurrencies and integrating it into one token and the evergrow coin wallet will be the gateway to all of these amazing utilities that will be launched this year and in my opinion evergrow coin is the most undervalued cryptocurrency at the moment when people actually get word of this and understand the whole ecosystem of evergrow coin ladies and gentlemen even if you bought today even if you bought tomorrow even if you bought next week i would still say you are early i wish everyone well and i will catch you all on the next one